Take a quick glance at restaurant tables and you'll soon see more Aussies are becoming suckers for octopus. Demand for octopus has skyrocketed in the last decade and the commercial fishermen just can't keep up supply. But one company here in Perth has come up with a solution. They're setting up the world's first octopus farm. Ross and Craig Camilleri run the Fremantle Octopus Company and they're putting Australian Ockies front and centre. In the past, it was used as a bait, but we've been able to move forward from that position and put it on the plate for the family consumer. For years, octopus was considered nothing more than lobster industry bycatch. When it became obvious there was a market for it, commercial fishers zeroed in. But two out of every three octopus caught was undersized. Then the Camilleri brothers had an idea. Bring the undersized Ockies back to shore and grow them in captivity. It doesn't take long, these guys grow quickly, reaching four kilos in their first year. It's incredible to think that this creature is probably less than a year old. And with growth rates like that, it's easy to see why these are excellent candidates for aquaculture. Look at that creature. Oh, wow, you are amazing. They not only want to grow captured Ockies, the next step is to breed their own. Cultivating octopus that never see the sea. So basically getting the eggs from the females, hatching the eggs, getting the larvae, and growing the juveniles. This is cutting edge research. Not only are females laying eggs in captivity, those eggs are starting to hatch. That is the definition of cute. Things are getting really exciting here. As far as we know, this is the first time in the world that larvae have been born without a mother. Making some good progress. But at this point, things get murkier than a cloud of octopus ink. Scientists haven't been able to grow octopus beyond the larval stage. We don't know anything about the larvae nutrition. We don't know anything about the larvae environment, how much light they need, what, uh, what flow rate they need. So basically nothing. With the help from the WA Department of Fisheries and the FRDC, they won't be in the dark for long. I'm quite confident that in the end of the project, in three years' time, uh, we will not only close the life cycle, we will establish a completely new industry in WA and maybe other states around Australia. Meanwhile, demand for octopus continues to grow. Fremantle Octopus will ship 300 ton this year as more diners develop a taste for tentacle. What does it taste like? Well, it tastes like lobster, it tastes like prawns, it tastes like scallops. Because the octopus is a great hunter and he eats all that. So what you eat is what you taste like. So that's why it's got the best seafood taste in the world. Whether crumbed and grilled or steamed and slivered, I'm singing the cephalopods' praises too. Sometimes there are no words to describe how awesome things are. 